Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. This is the Royal Rumble campaign, my name is Saiken and today I'm trying to not lose this campaign yet again by trying to counter Fado Krito, which is a problem. Just realized in the last episode that we are running low on energy and with the low energy it is difficult to build the uh, gate which is yet again needed in order to proceed. So. Either we need to deconstruct one of uh, the buildings, which would suck, or I need to think about how to get more energy, maybe via resistance orders. But that is a far distant afterthought. Now we are going into Operation Cold Agony, which could be the name of this campaign, to be precise. Uh, and we definitely need to win it, get that sweet, sweet engineer. Marauders will be in there and quite a few uh, um, artificial mechanical units. Codex Venator, for instance, Spectre, Biomech. So we are well advised to take a few blue screen rounds and it's the B team. This time Endos, Zirke, Metaxia, Implacable, good old Russ is back with the death from above and Vendieu is with us yet again. Uh, he is uh, going to uh, kind of share the spot with Thumper. I also like having two um, Grenadiers from time to time just for better shredding but Thumper is still out of commission so we're going in with two snipers this time. It's not a timed mission as long as we're killing the um, general. So off we go. Let's rush into the mission and let's give it a solid go. Well, look at that. We landed. Redford is still trying to explain us why this is super important. As if we wouldn't have known Bradford, but thanks for reminding us, I guess. Just double checking, so... It's one of those train missions. I hate the train missions with a passion. They are anti-snipers. Like, it's the worst potential mission that we could have gotten. Dieu does have the grapple hook and the rest suit, so we're actually okay. Russ takes high ground here because he has death, a death from above. Closing on target position now. Keep in mind we do not have a Reaper this time around. Stepping off. So we can't just charge in at our heart's content we need to play this smart that is not our target we would want to get our target and that's all that counts oh well i forgot we're not the only one going for our target. The Feral Hive is here and with it very likely the Queen. And there now. Placable moves up. Moving to designated coordinates. Zirke moves up. Moving to position. The Texia moves up. Moving on target location. Bon Dieu. And I think we're ill advised to stay back here. We gotta push in. They are not going to really push us out. 
This is uh, potentially one of the best high grounds that we could get. So, Will do. really, I'm pushing in with Russ as well. Currently, we are in the transition, which is a dangerous turn. Because if we fail to transition correctly, we might end up uh, being caught Continue. out of position. Evolution and then all of our like solid positioning from beforehand would be over. Marauders. Oh yeah, we had marauders here as well. Before we go in further, good. There is no sign. We know the general is there, but there is no sign that this here would trigger. Eyes on a hostile patrol. Russ takes his beloved high ground. It's affirmative. No, no, no. We're definitely not uh, going to run all the way here. This is uh, this would be destined to fail. We're taking one entrance. Time to motor. Eyes on the prize. Okay, cool. This might trigger. Okay. Attack. I think that's the captain. Yep, bio general. All right, opening the door. And one of the first orders is we are reducing cover. And we're definitely focusing on the general first. Advanced teamwork. Good. That bio general is, like I said, our main target. Strange, we can't hit anyone. Well, let's take the biomech down. It could destroy our high ground. Good. We're moving over here. Uh, 
And this hopefully solves the problem with the general. 17 crit. That's awesome. Well, it's not over yet, guys, so don't cheer too much. Not yet. Good, we're trying to kill as many of these guys as possible for now. Plagable could move in, but I don't want to trigger more. Sirikim gets an 8 protocol for an additional overwatch shot if needed, threat assessment. Good, placing a couple of turrets. Uh, not sure if this guy is already triggered. Pretty sure there is no further group back here. Because that's the end of the map. So I chose to surround this guy. And that was a decent kill. I like it. Unfortunately, we have over here is good high ground. We could pull in and then shoot these guys. As it stands, we just don't have really good high ground. bit further it's staying out of line of sight oh and they are running into the marauders okay cool codex almost died That was a massive hit. Good, let's see how these guys are going to react. Okay, the Venator, of course, wants to be an a-hole here. Thank you. 
In the meantime, the Marauders should be relatively easily overwhelmed by all of Advent. You will regret your resistance. I am taking fire. Nice, that was actually quite good. I remember the Marauders were the half psionic uh, fighters. Had a couple of interesting tricks up their sleeves. Okay, that drone is actually dead. Wow, huge action economy for this guy. I gotta congratulate them. They have done a really good job. Venators, whoever designed them, really wasn't very player friendly. So we're moving up. Mainly out of line of sight, uh, out of uh, action. Moving. Don't want to get injured by everyone. I want high ground. Where is a ladder? It's over there. Next turn we're just moving up. And okay, look, uh, we are going to fan fire and hopefully kill this thing. Okay, could we? Yes, we could. Should we? That's a good question. Huh. The Venator is the worst option. I gotta kill it. A small chance for a hair trigger. Implacable and untouchable, baby. Is it clear? Back into a decent position there. Uh, 
don't like the Furious Marauder here. But I don't like the Brutes as well, but... Doesn't matter what I like or not, if we can't hit 70% shots, then it's all very relative. They just dealt damage to themselves, which is incredibly stupid. I knew I I absolutely knew it. This is surprise equals zero. AKA I'm not very surprised. Oh, and then they put a spawning pit in there. Oh boy. Yes, please destroy the spawning pit. That's a two for one kill. <laughs> I saved the guy. Fantastic. Okay, now it is a Royal Rumble again. As you command. It almost feels like the uh, Hive has waited patiently until everybody engaged and then they decided okay now it's time to unload and uh, start killing everyone. The Hive is our prime target, it's not even a close second. I'm going. Superior stock, I was hoping for a few more... For a few more Elarium cores. I need high ground and a good shooting uh, distance. Something along the lines of from here to here. There's too much in the way up there. Could get rid of this. We would have a really good line of sight. Thinking about it. tell you what it's more important right now that we do have more power on the battlefield more important than anything else Nothing. 
Hmm. Russ, my good friend. So that's slowly but surely kind of opening this up. I think Van Dieu goes over here so that I can actually take that other uh, side. Grapple over and effectively claim it. Enders. What's the right play? It's a good question. In a perfect world, we would have good aiming angles from above, but we currently don't have that. Could go to here and then just kill zone next few turns. But moving all the way to here, it's potentially stretching it a bit. I will stay where we are at the moment. Wonderful, the chrysalid already has a couple of cocoons. You should be fighting me, Advan. You actually should be going straight in and dealing with that massive Hive Queen. Because these reinforcements will become your problem. Yeah, well, we do have a problem. The chrysalids are pretty much taking over. My biggest regret is we are having not many options to just contest at the moment. It's too much between us and uh, the chrysalids. kidding me by the way 25 defense Tch. unnecessary I already mentioned how I feel about that much defense on individual enemies this is a fly how how is that having 25 defense
Good, let's take out this guy. It's almost done. One hit point left. But next turn, we will be able to actually start hitting from here. Every single one that we kill now is one less chrysalid that spawns. Moving up. I need Zirkim at the front line. Eight protocol into a threat assessment. Taxia himself overwatches. And I think we're just standing there and double overwatch. Unfortunately, we've just made it easier for the enemies to kill the assassin. Good, now these guys become our problem. Well, we can deal with a number of them. My main concern simply is going to be how do we deal with the with their mama? here that's a kill free reload kill Sets the guy up for yet another kill. Target eliminated. Nice little hit on that uh, warrior. Sell it to turret. Moves up slightly. Kills the warrior. Very good. Is 
We're protecting Zirkim by putting someone with Blade Storm in front of him. And let's begin to shred Mama Bear. Is she having ruler actions as well? No, apparently not. Well, I won't. Uh, I, I don't mind that we're not fighting against someone who has ruler actions. We're rupturing it. Good word, just kill zoning. Um, look, it's a good time to use what we do have on that thing because it will regenerate. And hitting for 20 critical seems like a really good idea to me. Overwatching and overwatching. <laughs> Calls high reinforcements. Guardian. Yes, very nice. Texia is not taking no for an answer this time. It's running out of ammunition. 20 hit points healed, holy shit. And two armor. Okay, keep it going. I got it, right? It's a lot of chrysalids. Two, four, five, I think five should be plenty. Let's do overwatch for next turn. Free reload. And Vendieu definitely gets another overwatch. Okay, our uh, turret moves up, tries to block that center here. Good, we're marking it again, shredding it. I have no problem with hair trigger. 
three actions and more damage. Come on, couple of nice hits. Yep, that was good. A crit. Nice. Since it doesn't have ruler reactions, maybe it can be killed after all. Texia moves up. Dual shot. That's a nice hit. Come on. Even more damage. Oh yeah. an idea Bon Dieu moves up and fan fires come on oh she is close to death nine points of damage re remaining Even if this means I don't have high ground effort, this is so much more valuable. Mwah, fantastic. happening now the cavalry's here lots of extra enemies are coming up Good. The overall death of uh, the Hive Queen definitely was worth it. Bon Dieu is still survived. Surprisingly enough. Okay, we're moving forward. Free reload. Softening up this guy here. 
and then face off. We could go to there, okay, understood. So there a place where we can hit all of these guys. Let's use our oscillator turrets as bait. There's a big fat warrior waiting for us. Good, we're pulling back. Don't want to be caught in the open there. Um, yeah, let's kill him. Those reinforcements are the worst, really. Zirkim moves up. Starts marking the next biggest guy. Nice. Implacable, untouchable. And everybody actually is in a surprisingly good shape. On your order. I'm on it. Oh wait, uh, I did overwatch. I think we could have hit the spawning pit. Oh, All right, end of turn. So it's less problematic than I would have originally anticipated. I thought we would be coming in and the Hive Queen would have ruler actions on top of everything else that she's doing. Luckily for us, she didn't. And that's the first time in this campaign that I noticed something is not as hardcore as I would have guessed it would be.
Nope, turret is unfortunately there? not able to hit this thing. Wow, wonderful. Good, I think we're okay. Not sure where the remaining chrysalids are coming from, maybe a cocoon or something. Okay, selected turret. Moves in closer. It's clear. And I think everybody else can slowly but surely move up. Endos finally gets the better position. Affirmative, covering now. On Overwatch. That's affirmative. Come get some. Got it covered. On Overwatch. Well, that uh, was surprisingly successful. We got uh, the alien ruler. I knew that there was a chance that they would show up in this mission, but I would have never guessed uh, that not only would we counter Philocrito, but we also would very much counter the alien ruler itself. That was pretty good. Nice. 135 kills, 170 kills. Oh gosh, we're racking up uh, the kills. Chris, uh, Chrysalid Hive Queen Autopsy. I need to get that one. Blow to the alien's efforts today, Commander. Impressive work. So after the stasis suit, she will be the next target to research. We need one more contact, and we most certainly need more, um, more energy. One more day and we got a supply drop. The Marauders, by the way, are still alive. And there is one more ruler alive, the Mech Ruler. Okay, so Thunder Mountain, I hope that your ongoing collateral damage and Fado fucking Crito. See, the game is definitely rigged. Something is not correct. I continue to uh, to counteract that. And it's like the game is not even recognizing it. It just continues to put it in. Out of all of the other dark events, and mind you, there are at least 25 different. You tell me that uh, it's always Fado Crito that you're, uh, that you're drawing? Uh, yeah, we we need the extra energy, but we don't have that. The rest here is good. It is fantastic, but we're we're lacking the extra energy.
Hmm. Okay, first things first. Black market. Team number two is yet again just focused on preventing Fedo Krito from happening. Engineer don't need that. Nah. Not really needed. We don't need to build faster as well. Avenger plotting new course. What I need is um, either a resistance um, and co covert ops mission that is going to help us for more energy or another contact or, or alternatively um, I could get a scan that would also not be too bad wouldn't it for let's build the radio relay before we're scanning for intel Good, bond training between Roby and Murphy has finally uh, brought them to rank number three. Not bad. Shattered Realm needs negative traits removed. And now we got the auto shotgun. Okay, I want to know was that worth waiting? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Hive Gauntlet is something that I wanted. The Black Flame Grenade was something that I wanted. Hmm. Black Flame Grenade, Hive Gauntlet. Let's go with the Black Flame Grenade because I'm still of the opinion that the Custodians are absolutely uber. So they will give us the most OP stuff that exists. So shotguns. Shotguns would be sonar. Damage plus six? What does plus six mean? Oh, okay. So, fires three shots in a row for six damage. Massive uh, bonus critical. And has me mentioned burst fire. Fires three shots in a row. Okay, with um, pe uh, aim penalty. I don't know. I Am I misreading this? I thought it would be the absolute uber weapon. It looks bulky. 6 damage. Always 6 damage. Here I'll deal twice that. Same bonus critical damage, um, miss shot damage, bonus action chance, critical chance. Like this here is substantially better. Ten to twelve, and this is just six points of damage. I thought it was a very, very, very powerful shotgun. Do I need to upgrade it? Is this just the base version? I'm confused. I sort of want my money back. Three shots in a row, fine. I get it. That's not bad. That's 18 points of damage. 
but there is armor there's damage uh, resistance I mean with shredding together I can see that that wouldn't be too bad I don't know I mean it's clearly not better than uh, Arashi so our second soldier is currently using the energy sweeper effectively superior laser sight superior hair trigger can we weapon upgrade that no we can't am i the only one seeing that that's a bit of a problem am i missing something let me know in the comments down below guys the mission uh, shotgun i thought this would be the absolute best thing ever but really what it does is six points of damage up to three times in a row okay and it has a slight aim benefit five percent aim chance so it has a minor scope in, uh, included and average uh, crit chance in uh, included and average um, laser sight included uh, it has a minor uh, clip size and improve um, improve in there yeah but the base damage is not good unless mission burst fire well the problem is it's not even good uh, if mission burst uh, can be done every single turn because one of the biggest strength is rapid fire shoot twice now here's maybe a saving grace everybody seems to be able to carry it so with that um, <laughs> that would actually be quite good then the weapon if that would uh, have worked then the weapon would uh, be superb Okay, rangers and uh, and specialists can uh, can use it. And look, I I could see why someone like Ataxia here could just give it a try, right? I mean, granted, he needs to go a little bit more into melee uh, with that. But we're going to see how it works. If it is complete and utter, hmm, then we're simply not going to use it. And it's a learning experience. But I was expecting more. Maybe I'm... I've... I have too high expectations uh, towards uh, the custodian stuff. Our research is progressing as expected, Commander. Um, we want the Chrysalid Hive Queen autopsy. I'll direct our efforts towards the new research project immediately, Commander. Once we've made good and hopefully we're work. soon going to get a good new covert ops Avenger plotting new course we have a landed UFO with only sectors. <laughs> 
that late in the game this is a treat my friends because it will give us free resources and free leveling that's actually not bad i appreciate that the game is helping us a bit so we're going to attack it with a low level characters to get some more experience out of it but that will happen in the next episode and I can already tell you the one thing that we're going to do is I want to test that new shotgun so we're not going to give it to someone who had a great gun we're going to give it to someone who had a really really bad gun and then we're going to see whether or not it is any good thanks for watching everyone and uh, see you in the next episodes if you uh, want to prevent uh, me having an oval head oval head like a sector then click the like button that's the therapy that i need in order to not go insane thank you for watching and see you in the next episode bye bye